Hello everybody and welcome back to Hunter's Bow Gaming and today I'm going to do something a little bit special. I'm going to take on two monsters at once. Now to do this I did, I am using the armor that I s said I was not going to use because I feel like they handed it to me. The only reason I am doing it though is because one, I'm taking on two monsters at once and two, it has a better water resistance than the one that I had last episode. So, I'm going to use this armor for just this episode, I'm going to go take on two at once. Let's hop right into it. Okay, let's look for the scholar. He must have left some kind of trail. Okay, so I know exactly where this guy's going to be, so I'm just going to run straight to him. Because I used to play this mission all the time. This was by far my favorite mission, because this is the- or I won't spoil it for you. I'll show you- it'll show you why. Let's get over there. Okay, there's some footprints. Huh? Wait, what's that there? Wait, wait! What's going on with the scout flies? They probably see something, silly goose. Look. Yeah, I know the catfish are there. I'm not too worried about it. Whoa, there's some more. Now, I do know what the, uh, this is coming from. I've just never actually... I fought it once before, but that's because it was a story mission. Now, I might have to edit this out because I do not think this is the mission that I I was expecting it to be. Like, I know this is the mission. Stupid catfish.
Ooh. That was close. Also very close. Alright, this is usually the area that it happens in. If it's going to happen. So far it doesn't look like it. Come on, come at me. There we go! Yes! I was hoping this would happen. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is what I was hoping it would, would happen. Both of them would show up, and they will fight each other just a little bit. Because they do damage to each other. But since the mission is for the Girototos, I... I think I'm going to go for the Barith first. Because neither of them see me at the moment. So let's go for the Barith. Not expecting that. sound well. Get over here, big boy. Ha ha ha! Nailed it. Okay, so I am using a new sword as well, and I think I like the old one better. Even though it does a little less damage, it has more of a green part of the bar, so I don't have to uh, use the whetstone as often.
perfect. Gosh dang it. I almost had that. Thank you. I didn't want me to do that. Come on, get him, get him. He doesn't have any mud on him. Is that the Girototus up there? What's it doing up there? Oh. Distracting me, that's what it was doing. Let's see if we can't get another turf war real quick. Oh man, of course he's running. That's the Bareth I know. Caking himself in mud. You can honestly get a lot of investigation points out of the Bareth because every time you break the mud, which is actually quite often, you get more like investigation parts. Thank you, Dri Thank you Shadow Driver. Driver. I can't even remember what I named you. We got this, we got this. There we go. That was tough. All right, wait for it to quit kicking. Oh, good, I needed that. This is also a very good way to get some of those uh, special resources you need for armors and weapons and stuff like that. First, look up the item that you need. <clears throat> for example, say I needed that uh, Barrow Ridge. Uh, I need to look up where to get it. 
and uh, like how often it spawns, like what body part to break. Um, now, usually it's not that complex. If say, like for the Barith Ridge, I know I need to kill a Barith. But uh, quite usually, if you can find a specific mission that has you hunt that animal or monster, more like it, you're actually more likely to get the part after you finish the mission because uh, it is the mission for that monster, and you get bonus points for it afterwards. And then another thing is like, make sure you always carve it after you slay it. If you don't carve it, there's oh, so a few extra pieces that you can get from carving it. For example, I got that Barreth Ridge from carving it. And I'm going to get a few bonus pieces of it from, like, doing extra stuff for this mission. Of course, there will be a mission later to where uh, you could, I can hunt both of them in specific. But... I didn't have that unlocked because I needed to finish this quest, so I figured I'd get it out of the way for you guys. Just do it with you. Oh, and if you can always hop on a monster, I would always do it, because not only does it uh, give you like bonus damage, uh, it gives you like this little period right here where you can do extra damage. One thing that, I, especially when playing this game, that I cannot preach enough. Sometimes it's okay to just put up your weapon and start running. It's not like you're running like away. I mean, it's good to run away, especially if you're low on health. But uh, if you can't get out of a, a specific attack, just run and wait for an opening. There are many times when I'm hunting where I'll just sit there, run in circles, quite literally. And so I can find myself an opening and then I'll attack again. Of course it's going to sleep. Never let any monster go back to sleep or get some food. Like if you know where they're going, like sometimes they have multiple spots they could go. But if you know where they're going, don't let them sleep. A good charged attack will always take out what health they might have gained. I was covering himself in mud to make this more interesting. So, one thing I also recommend doing is if there are any breakable parts, always take them off. Because, um, oh, because you can uh, carve those as well. For example, I think I can chop off his tail 
if I do this enough. Might be mistaken. Right, like, oh man. Nice. But yeah, definitely. But I can't shake this feeling that there's something really bad about those. Oh, I forgot I was doing that mission. Alrighty, everybody. So I'm using this uh, video as more of like a double-edged sword. It gets, for those of you who are just wanting to watch the hunt, it gets that hunt in there for you. I got my two monsters, the Girototos and the Barith, in there for you. I get, put a, threw in a little spice for those, thanks because I know I had done the Barith before, but it showed both both of them fighting. And not only had I done it in two separate hunts before, I did both of them in the same hunt, all at the same time, without dying. And um, the other half of this is for those... Who needed a little bit of information uh, if you don't need any information you can go ahead and skip the rest of this video uh, do consider subscribing I have other videos out you guys can go check them out but for those of you who are looking for a little bit of information uh, there are special items that come from the monsters uh, a lot of them are used in making armors now this one's the armor that I'm wearing now is given to you at the beginning of the game but I can show you real quick for example if I wanted to make the Barith armor uh, I would need to come over here to the smithy, and then, as soon as he gets done talking, go to forge equipment, armor. There's the whole shebang. But, if I wanted to come down to Barith, there's, as you see, there's those specific pieces that you need. Now, the Barith Scalp, Bar Barith, the Barith Scalp and the Barith Ridge are two of the harder pieces to find, because they're so rare. It's especially harder for me, because I use a greatsword rather than a blunt weapon. If you had a blunt weapon, you could knock off his scalp and uh, uh, carve it, and that's a good way to get a Barith scalp and a Barith ridge. Or you can just keep doing that mission over and over, and I think it's like a 20% chance that it'll show up for the ridge and like a 10% chance for the scalp. But you just gotta keep grinding and grinding and get those pieces down. And then Fertile Mud, it's like a, it's one of those drop things, but you just gotta keep going at it. Um, if you're looking for a specific, like, random item, like, say you need, uh, iron alloy, or something, not iron alloy, uh, there's one of them that I know for a fact. Hunter, Monster Bone Plus. The only way you're gonna get a plus item is if you're already in the G rank, G rank. That is after the, uh, normal rank and the high rank. Normal rank is, like, you're just going through the game, it's your first time playing, and then high rank is you're kind of going through it again, but it's not exactly the story. It still has registered that you've done it all, but you're still continually fighting monsters, but these monsters are tougher and have better loot. Plus, hence the plus. And then the G rank right after that is even better stuff. You'll get different colors. It's just That is where you get into like the completely competitive stuff, where you'll go online and battle for uh, times. But I, I don't do that. I've never been gotten that far into a game. But... Uh, Monster Bone Plus is for high rank after you get to a specific point in the story. It says, okay, you're done. Let's upgrade you to the high rank, and then you can go fight harder, stronger monsters. Um, and that's how you get some of those items. You just got to keep grinding for them, and you got to just keep grabbing them and take those items with you. Now, sometimes it can take a while. For example, when I used, to, like, I have probably 128 hours on my other account because I wanted the Barith and the Jura armor and I probably spent a good 48 hours of gameplay continually hunting those monsters because I there was I just needed those Barith ridges because that armor skill is pretty good of course it doesn't look good at the moment because I am wearing my level 50 but compared to like for example uh, the one I was using the Kulu armor that's a four uh, four stat upgrade on every single piece giving up to 20 uh 20 better stat points and that is that can actually lead to be the difference between life and death in a monster hunt especially up against higher level monsters now for example i'm about to go get the uh, fight the anginath and i need really good fire resistance because it's a fire monster now, I think the armor I have on, I might go ahead and use it for the Anjanath, because there are no good fire 
uh, good against fire equipment. Yeah, see, every single one of these is either really, really low stats or is really weak to fire. For example, that one is good, but it has kind of low stats. That one is good armor, but it is really weak against fire, and that one's just kind of in the in-between. So, if I was going up against, like, a thunder monster, which I know will happen eventually, I will get the Barith armor, because I know it'll help me go up against that electricity. If I need another water monster, I'll go fight more Jirototos, so I can get that uh, water stat up. Now, in the end, uh, it's all up to you how much you want to go grind for those uh, pieces. For example, uh, I can go hunt the Jirototos two or three more times and get all the stuff I need, which isn't very much, and then go uh, get like the random items that I need, like the, uh, I call them catfish, but the Gaiju whiskers. You need those uh, to complete this armor. Now, I was like, I like the Jirototos armor, but I'll go get it later. I'm not going to go grinding for it right now. But when I need it, I can always just go grab those real quick and keep going from there. Now, the armor I have on now, um, it was designed, I think it was designed for high rank. Because whenever you look at it, it'll have the, it's blue nonetheless, which means it's pretty rare and pretty good. And then it has like a little symbol next to it. Um, the really, really good armors is, it has like an alpha symbol. And those are the G rank ones, where those are like really crazy high level armors. But this is designed for those really big monster hunts. As you probably noticed, I didn't take I pretty much didn't take any damage while hunting either of those monsters. When in all reality, I should have been dead several times. Do leave a li uh, like and comment down below if you like what I'm doing and if there's something else that you need in specific. So, say you need any information on fighting the Barath in specific, I can create a video just for those uh, grinding those down and showing you in specific what to break and whatnot. But uh, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. If you guys like it, do leave a like down below and do consider subscribing. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Well, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.